and put the rose in his hand. That, uh-oh. Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have the woman of the household here today. Thank you. She's here because I just got this big box in the mail and I didn't even remember that it was coming and I have mm -hmm. videos to edit, so I have to do that. So she's gonna help me out with the unboxing and the review today. Uh, I'll come back in at the end just to give my thoughts, but uh, right. I thought you'd have fun unboxing this one. Oh, I'll have so much fun. Well, you're always complaining about I have too many sexy girls or too many muscle guys, so this one is for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What? What's in here? So, it's a statue. It's a statue, yeah, I got that. <laughs> Fragile. People like to see your reviews, so. All right. They want to know what you think about the pieces. Okay, I'll let All you right. know for so, sure. So this box uh, it didn't come with any information on the sides like they usually do. Nope. Uh, but I opened it up just to see what it was and then I remembered that Gee. I had got this. I was going to take the whole thing out of the art box that's inside, but the foam wasn't strapped together. So I'm just oh, going to open no. it, put it on the floor, and then you can take the pieces out. Yeah, Sounds I good? carried this big bad boy in the house. Oh yeah, yeah. this is the one. It got delivered and then she was struggling to get it into the house, but we caught it all on the ring. Yeah. But it's not that heavy. The What's guy delivering it, like, delivered it with one hand. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's see you lift it with one hand. Oh no, here he goes. Mr. Show Off. Oh. Oh, see? Okay, see? whatever. Okay, Ta -da! whatever. <laughs> here, I'll try. <laughs> oh God, I can't even put my arms around the whole thing. Oh God. Oh, whoa, whoa. You better get it. I don't know if I should trust her with this one because. Is it really I mean, fragile? She, she just went to the gym with me and she got a new max 50 pounds bench press. Yeah. Mm. That's the bar yes. plus two and a half on each side. Yes. <laughs> but we'll put it on the floor. That way, if you drop anything, it doesn't have far to go. Yeah, good idea. We got the turntable here. We got the table cleared, so you're gonna put all the pieces here, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna put it all together. Oh, and don't break anything. Yeah, sure. Oh, don't trip on the way out. All right, we got a big old foam piece. This is cool. Don't need that. Oh, what in the world? What is that? That is not sexy. Okay, hmm, what should I start with? There's not too many pieces, which is a good thing because I will end up breaking them anyway. But this is intriguing. I'm gonna pull this one out first because it's pretty. Ooh, it's like, it's like, um, oh, here, I'll show it here. It's like a um, crystal, like a, uh, like a, oh, it reminds me of Harry Potter, like a Harry Potter wand or something. So this maybe is a statue dealing with magic. Maybe, but it looks like it has like a piece coming out the top of it. I don't know what that's all about. Like it's broken or something. I didn't break it. Anyway, so it looks like a magic wand. I'll set that there. There's something else that looks, ooh, really pretty. Okay, this is something I could totally break by accident because it looks very delicate. So I have to be careful while I pull it out. Um, oh, in fact, I'm really afraid to pull this out. It's super delicate. I think I got it. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? It's a red, red rose. Oh, wow. I wonder what this is all about. That pretty red rose. Look at all that details. Wait, I gotta put it here. I'm not good with this camera. It's a long stem rose. Very, very pretty. So we have a magic wand, a rose. All right, here we go. This is a hot, sexy statue dude. This is gonna be epic, okay? I'm so excited. Sorry, honey. You've been replaced. Here we go. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. Uh-oh, his head's kind of popping off. Oh, jeepers. Uh. 
I don't know what to pull it first. So his head is like bobbling around and I'm afraid to pull him up because I'm afraid his head's gonna break off, so. Oh, he's so sexy. Ooh, baby. Yeah, okay, uh-huh. Who is this hot dude? Oh my, let's take you out of the plastic. Okay, let's see here. Well, this came in one big piece. That's no fun. Okay, here you can see his nice bald head. <laughs> I'm gonna turn him this way so you can see it. I don't know if this is what you wanted me to do with the camera angles, but here you go. Here is, oh my God, this is really heavy. Seriously, it weighs probably as much as I do. But anyway, I'll put him right here. I guess I'll stand him up. This here, I don't know who this guy is, but I'm gonna kind of take him apart because I think you can. Uh, so his hand comes off and we'll just uh, show each of these pieces separately so you can see the detail. So his hand has, his uh, right hand has a red ruby ring or something on his finger. It's got the veins. So the detail is pretty amazing. He's like cupping something. I don't know, I wonder what he's trying to grab. Maybe your neck. I don't know, he looks kind of mean. So I bet this hand comes off too. It's got a nice watch, trying to be really cool. Very stylish. And then I think his head comes off because it was bobbling around in the... Oh, not only his head, but his whole like lapel and everything. Oh, and it comes off like that. So we've got this, necktie, and shirt. Again, his face. So I don't know if there's another head. I'll have to look in the box. What else comes apart? Maybe that's it. Let me see, I'm gonna lift him, I'm gonna lift him up for a second. Nope, nope, nope. Everything else seems to be in place. So here we go, the headless dude. Okay, I have no idea if this is a comic book character. It's gotta be, right? What is he from? He looks familiar, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna check the box to see if I missed anything. But I think that is it. I think I'm missing something here. <laughs> that's, that's all of him, but I think there's a base here somewhere because there's more to this box. I have to pull the, ugh. Pull the other foam out. Oh. oh, oh, there's lots of parts left. Okay, I'm not getting off that easy. Whoa, there's lots in here. Okay, so first, I think I'm gonna pull up the base. I think that's the next thing I wanna show you. So we got the base here. Looks like it looks like it was supposed to be a marble floor or something, but it's all cracked up. There's like a big crack right here and some dings and they're actual chunks taken out of the, the material here. So it's like something happened, some fighting, something really heavy. Maybe this guy smashed it. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is all gonna fit on here. There's like a hole here for something to go in. So we'll have to see. But there's some other body parts in here. Okay, so here's another head. So we've got this one. He's not smiling. He's just like, and this one he is smiling. There we go. That one. So there's heads. Oh, there's another head in there. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Oh. Grumpy. He's not happy here. Definitely not happy. The many faces of, I'm gonna name him. He looks like a Clyde. Clyde, here's another hand. So we've got this hand, oops, almost broke the rose. This hand with a watch. It's kind of like a fit, has a fist. And then this one is, I don't quite understand why. It's almost like he's gonna go like peace. <laughs> Here's another shirt. So we have 
black shirt with purple tie. And then we have just a purple shirt, like fancy. Fancy, shiny shirt, I guess, that'll go in here. What, what? I almost want to say Batman, but I don't think so, because he kind of has, reminds me of the Joker in a way. I don't know why. Is he a character from Batman? Wait, whoa, almost dropped it. I don't understand this. It's got the same, it's like a, a another base kind of thing. Like it's a small base. Maybe it's a, maybe you can build a small statue, like just the head. Maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. So you could just make a bust. One more thing. Okay. So I guess you can make a miniature statue of this guy. It's got the purple shirt, just like this. And the tie, just like this one. So you can go ahead and play. So two heads can go in the, in the busts like that. And then you can build one separately. I think this is for like your desk or something that you can, or put it on the kitchen table. No, that's not happening. Um, so we're just gonna say these guys over here. And I think I'm gonna choose the grumpy one to go in this guy. Okay, let's move all these over. There we go. Okay, so he's got a white dinner jacket on, like a, what do you call it? A suit jacket, a white suit jacket um, with like a yellow vest. It's yellow and purple. That's why it's reminding me of Joker. Oh wait, it's the Joker green and purple. I don't remember. But anyway, it's gotta be a comic book character. But what is this? Oh, this must be like a walking stick? Wait, let's put this all together and see. So, I think I'm feeling fancy. So I'm gonna go with a fancy shirt. And I think that goes in first. It just fits in quite nicely. I don't think it's magnetic though. It doesn't feel magnetic. No. Mm, maybe. Um, and then the head just, you know, what do you call this, a key? I think you call these keys, right? Goes in here, this keyhole. He is not happy. I think he he got stood up by his date. But he's like a hefty guy here. Sorry, pal. And he's got purple pants that are like pinstriped. You can see. And some nice dress shoes. Um, but his head is quite small compared to his large body, which makes me think it's a comic book character because everything's exaggerated in comic books, right? I think he only has one hand for the ring. So we'll put that in here. Now let's put him on the base, I think. Uh, I hope I don't drop him, he's super heavy. Wait, this doesn't look right. Look, he's hanging off. Well, maybe I have to go, uh-oh, this doesn't look right. Wait, how, why would he be hanging out over here? Um, let's put his other hand in here. Let's see, which one? I like this one. Looks like he's doing something there. I'm trying to see if there's something here. Oh, there is. So in, in this hand, there's a, a keyhole, which makes me think that this piece on top of this cane or whatever, I guess it's a cane. I'm thinking it's a cane. So that fits into this keyhole. How do you fit in here? Ugh, get in there. There we go. Yep, it's a cane. He needs a cane because he has bad knees, probably. Okay. Um, I can't, that's odd. Oh, here I go, I'm gonna break it. Here's the moment of truth. Hope you didn't pay much for this. Oh, that's better. There we go. DT to the rescue. There we go. It took two of us to figure that out. Okay, Clyde, you look quite debonair. Looks like he got stood up by his date. So he's got his rose, he's ready for his, his um, hot date and she didn't show. So he's pissed and he slams the cane down into the ground 
causing it to shatter the marble floor. So I'm gonna turn him around so you can get a full view. So we've got his little mini Clydes here and extra pieces that you could swap out. So we could do that. We can try swapping it out and see what it looks like. Let's do it. We'll take out this part. Okay. Um, this shirt, the black shirt with the purple tie. Oh, I need his head. So let's see. Let's let's give him a smile. Oh, it's kind of a strange smile actually. He doesn't look that happy. Yeah, there we go. He looks happier. We're gonna put that in there and see what this looks like. Wow, it changes the whole feel of the statue. Oh, no wonder this looks weird. <laughs> this is wrong. So we're gonna take this out. Yeah, maybe this does go with a grumpy face. Like, ha, ah, I'm so mad. And put the rose in his hand. That, uh-oh. I'm trying to do this whole thing without my glasses. Maybe that's a challenge. Oh. Oh, now I can actually see the time on his watch. No, it's not broken, uh, but the hole like is very tiny, so I don't know that it's supposed to go through there. <laughs> I'm gonna be fired so bad. I really am curious where he's from. Like what genre, what comic book, what, what where, what's his story? Someone tell me, please. Do I like the statue? Yeah, I think it's really fun. It's got a lot of character. Do I want it? Upstairs? No. Do I want it in the studio? I don't care because it's DT studio and he can do what he wants. I would love to count how many statues he has one day. I don't even think he knows how many he has, but I'm guessing at least 200. Maybe that's too many. So I'm curious to see what DT thinks about this statue. So let's call him in here. DT! All right, what'd you break? I almost broke the rose. His name is Clyde. Clyde? His name is Wilson. I was close. <laughs> Clyde Wilson. It's kind of similar feel. Wilson Fisk, the kingpin. Kingpin. What is that? The kingpin. He's the kingpin of crime. Mafia boss. Oh, yeah, he looks like a mafia guy. I think he forgot something. What? It's supposed to be a cigar. I didn't see a cigar. What was that? I didn't have my glasses da, da, da. on. There's a cigar. Where is that? It goes that in go? this hand. Oh. Yawning. <laughs> Did you do that on the video? I, that was my first yawn. So this is the Kingpin. This is his first appearance right here. The Amazing Spider-Man number 50. I said, no, I said Batman. Batman? <laughs> And I know he's not the Joker, but it just, I took a wild guess. Okay, Spider-Man, that's right. All so right. he so didn't appear on the cover of this one, but he appears on the cover of the is next Is that the one. actual comic book in there? Yeah. Oh, it looks so flat. <laughs> what? You, you haven't seen my comic books, have you? I have, but. And they're I guess so... every statue you have, you have the comic book. Yeah, pretty of much. I was curious, how many statues do you think you have in total? I don't know, 100 and something. Uh, I wasn't far off, I said 200. Yeah, but this is my first kingpin. I need it for my Spider Man collection. Some I have doubles now that I have that big one. That big He's statue. your first, huh? Well, first and only kingpin. I, you just need one of this guy. And where is he gonna go? I don't know. I'll have to clear somebody out. I think I'm gonna sell some of mine. Tell, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I think we're gonna sell that Sandman that you reviewed. Oh yeah, he can go. Well, because I already have another one of them now. I think Sandman and Mysterio, XM Studios. So. Any takers? If you guys are interested, let me know. Well but uh, yeah, this is Wilson Fisk, mm -hmm. the Kingpin. Um, his backstory is he kind of got teased as a kid. Aww. But then he started working out and he became super strong. Oh, okay, so, so well, why does he have a small head? Because he has a big body. He actually has a big head, like when you put it next to like, uh, 
Like this guy right here, see how his head? Oh. See, it's pretty big, right? Oops. He's just a big guy. I think he's supposed to be like six foot seven inches tall. Yeah, his like hands 400 and feet pounds. are huge. And, and, most and, importantly, and. he is not fat. I didn't call him fat. No, but I mean, he just looks a it little looks, chubby. Yeah. But he's not fat. It's this muscle? Is all muscle. <laughs> he, oh. <laughs> That's not true. He is only 2% body fat. Wow. So would you look like this if you <laughs> went bald? Oh, I thought you said if I had 2% body fat. Well, you probably do. No, I, I don't have 2% body fat, but I have seen 300 pound people with 2% body fat and they do not look like this. This is unreal. That's why I said BS. Because, uh, yeah. He looks heavy, like, well, muscles does not come in these proportions, so. No, muscles have like more like definition too. He yeah. just looks. So he trained as like a sumo wrestler, but most sumo wrestlers are not 2% body fat. They're more like 20 to 30% body fat. Mm -hmm. So that's probably more of what he should be, but the comic books say he's 2% body fat and that he's pretty much all muscle. Well, yeah, comic books never tell a lie. No. Anyway, he is a bad guy. But he's smiling. He fights. Yeah, but that's because he's rich. Oh, yeah, he looks rich. Yeah, he's an enemy of Spider-Man, Daredevil, Punisher. Who's Daredevil? He's the blind lawyer. From what comic? Daredevil. <laughs> the man without fear. I don't know him. They had a whole TV show about him. Did what? Matt Murdock. Ben Affleck Didn't played him in the movie. Oh. Before he became Batman. So they made this statue. This is a quarter scale statue, meaning it's one fourth the size he would be in real life. Oh, wow. Um, they had two versions of this one. One, he's wearing a black suit. And then one, he's got this more classic look as you've seen in that comic book. Mm -hmm. But uh, the black suit looked pretty cool. It's all sleek. But they did add, I guess, this piece right here, the black collar. Yeah. Right. That yeah. you can add in. Sleek looking base with the Why marble. Why poking here? Huh? Like, what's this poking part? It's called material bunching up. Oh, okay. Right. I guess. So you forgot the cigar. So let's try that out. I'll have. I'll take the rose. Okay. Well, when we put it up in our room, then you can put the rose in it. Dude, I do not want that in our room, okay? I don't want to wake up and stare at that thing. All right, so there it is with the uh, cigar. I think that looks better than the rose. Yeah, it looks more like something he'd be holding. So it comes rose. with uh, it comes with two headstands. Your desk. That way you don't have to stick it back in the box. But I think I like this one <clears throat> with the teeth. Me too. We'll see. I don't know about the shirt. I didn't see it with this, but... I put it on. Yeah? What did you think about this one? Did you like it? Yeah. Better than the black shirt? No. You like the black shirt? Mm-hmm. More detail, more... This is... What is this called? Cravat? I didn't call it that. I said fancy shirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool with the watch and all. The fake Rolex. <laughs> Even if you have the black shirt, the tie matches the pants. I don't think there are too many. Oh, there is an XM Studios licensed Kingpin, but most of the Kingpins that have come out are custom, mm. meaning they're unlicensed pieces. And uh, some of them look a little bit more like real, like realistic proportions. This guy, I liked him because he had more comic book proportions. He's like super wide, but like in Daredevil, um, you know, he looked more like a, a regular guy. Let's see. Oh my gosh. But yeah, pretty cool. Kingpin. Kingpin. Uh, I think she liked it. Clyde. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you liked my review. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this statue and her reviews in the comments down below. Maybe we'll bring her back for an encore. Oh, wow. Thanks. I'd be happy to. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.